Hi everyone, it's Fiona from Lavender Blue and I just wanted to come on today and show you how to make this cute little envelope journal. So the cover is made out of an envelope and it measures four and a half inches by six and three eighths of an inch or 11 and a half centimeters by 16 centimeters so the envelope that i'm using is in australia it's called a c5 envelope um, they usually come in this gold color or you can get them in white as well this one i've used the white one i'll just open it up so you can have a look so it has a ribbon um, binding and ribbon closure and then we just open it up and we have a pocket inside the front cover and then we have our tea dyed pages and in the back cover I also have a side pocket which I haven't put anything in the pockets at the moment um, and then we've got the flap here, which you can, if you want to, you could fold it in there and close it like that, or you could have it on the outside like I have. And I've just put a little spine here, just about a quarter of an inch for um, expanding in case for what you put inside the pockets or whatever you add to your little journal. So it's just a really quick and easy project. And um, I just thought I'd come on and show you how I did it. Okay. I'll just put that one aside. And all you actually need is one envelope and two A4 pieces of paper. I'm using two A4 printables. And these are from my Blushing Rose kit. And uh, the, it actually, the kit has six pages and I've already made two little notebooks. So I have two pages left to make another one. And then you do end up with strips left over. I've got quite a few left over. So um, you can add like, um, you could add a little belly band um, inside your front or back cover or little pockets. Or whatever you like so we might do that on this one but I'll just show you how to put it together it goes together really quickly and easily so I just want to decide which one I want on my front cover and I think I want this one this time so I'm going to just so when it's closed it would go like this this way so then I need to have this bit that I want on the front cover like that. So I'll need to glue it down like that. So I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to glue it to the whole um, envelope and then I'll cut around it. So I'm just going to remove this as well because that's sort of hanging over the edge there. And because I'm going to sew around the edges, I'm going to um, just glue it down with a glue stick because it's going to be sewn on anyway. But if you're not going to sew, I would um, suggest using some better glue for this. Um, now we are going to cut it open at the top and the bottom so that we have our pockets. But um, I just found it easier to glue the paper on before you actually cut it open. So, okay, so I'm just going to put glue all over the back of the envelope. And this, these will make really great happy mail or... Um, just yeah, a nice gift for somebody, a really quick and easy gift to make. You could make them out of some Christmas paper. 
and um, they'll make nice little Christmas journals or scrapbooks or notebooks, whatever you want to call them. But a quick and easy little project. So I'm just putting my glue all over, just making sure I get the edges. And then I'm going to just to make sure I've got my paper the right way, I think. Yep. So I'm just going to put this down on here. Just making sure you can see me. I'm just going to lay it down right in the corner. But if there is any excess, I'll cut that off anyway. There we go. Put that down. Bit of a crease there. Then I'll just get my scissors and cut around it. So you can get envelopes bigger than this in the larger size, um, but they're the same type of envelopes, so you could also use the larger ones and do a bigger one. Um, in the same way as I'm doing this one. Okay, so we've got our little leftover strip there. Just make sure that's nice and smooth. Okay, so now I need to just put um, my second piece of paper over the back here. And I'm going to glue it like that. So I'm just going to stick it to the edge of here. And then I'll cut that down. Let's just... Put our glue on here again. Trying to make sure I don't get glue on this bit because I don't want to glue it together. Oops, my cat's going crazy in the background. If you can hear some banging and crushing. What are you doing, Smokey? Probably wants my attention. <clears throat> he likes me to give him a good brush every day and um, I haven't given him a brush today so that might be what he wants. He's got lots of fur, very thick, long fur. Okay, so glue all over that one. And I want, I think I want the rose in this corner, so let's make sure I've got it the right way up. Hmm. Put that on there like that. Then I'll cut down here. And 
and pop it off. And then I want to, whoops, I didn't want that to stick. It's just stuck to that um, sticky bit there. gonna make a fold there and I'm gonna cut this down and it doesn't matter if you just do it kind of roughly because when we open it up you can um, fix it up cut it straighter Okay, so now what I'm going to do is open it up. So I'm just going to cut a sliver off this edge and this edge. Just make sure that you're cutting it open. I need to go in a bit further here. Just the tiniest bit. And the other end. Now we've got it open flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just cut this, um, I'll just turn it over and you can see where the paper goes slightly over the edge. So I'm just going to cut this straight. And then we also need to straighten it up a little bit. I can. Go. Also need to put a piece of paper on this bit. So I'm just going to get one of the leftover strips. This piece here that we just cut off should be the right height. And I'm just going to glue this down and cut around it again. So I'm going to glue it to just inside the fold line, which is that one there. Make sure it's going to cover. Okay. Oops, I've got cords hanging everywhere. And just press that down and then cut around it. Thank you. 
There we go. Now I'm also going to put a bit more glue under this piece because um, it could lift up just with the, the glue stick. So I'm going to put a bit of a stronger glue under there. I'm not too worried about um, the edge because I'll be sewing around that one. But um, Actually, it seems to be sticking down okay, but I'll just add a bit more glue to the edges here. Now, if you want to, um, I'll just show you when it's closed. I'll just move that out of the way for a second. It's a bit sticky. When this is closed like this, um, we're going to have a pocket here and a pocket here. Or if you wanted to, you could cut along this edge also and you could create a pocket in here. Um, and if you wanted to also, you could sew down here and you could have a top pocket here. But I'm going to do the side pocket here and the top pocket here like I did with the other one. So I'm going to put my little um, half circle here so that you can get things in and out of the pocket easily. And then this one here. So this one um, is fine. You can just see the, the paper under there rather than seeing the yellow bit. But what I was going to say is if you wanted to, if you didn't want to see this yellow bit, um, you could also glue a strip of paper just across there so that um, you can see some paper behind it. Um, so I might get one of my scraps. Um, to do that, I'm just going to fold it so that I can see where the fold is. And I'm just folding it level with the back one, with this back pocket. So I want to put a piece of paper just across here. Um, might use this one. And it doesn't matter if it goes all the way across or not, as long as it's covering the... Like that. So this also will be sewn around on the top edge, so... Put it down with this.
and I'm going to be inking around the edges as well. But I'll do a little bit of sewing first. So the first um, step with my sewing, because I want to border all the way around, I'm just going to sew all the way around the whole, just all the way around the whole thing like this. And then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to sew it for the pockets. Okay, so I'll just go and do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I've sewn all the way around the edge. And it gives it a nice um, sort of sturdy edge too. It's not going to rip, rip very easily with the stitching around. So we want a pocket here and a pocket up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way across with this closed, all the way across the bottom here. And then I'm going to sew um, sorry I'm going to sew all the way across the bottom and then I'm just going to sew across the top here and I'll also sew down this side because um, this is your this is your edge here where it opens and this is where we um, the two pieces of paper meet that we glued on the front and the back and it's sort of you know sticks out there a little bit on the edge so to protect that edge I'm also going to sew down there so down there across there and just across the top there okay and I'll be back okay so I have sewn my pockets so we have this one here and we have this one up the top here. And I didn't bother sewing down through the center because that's where we'll be stitching in our pages. So it's going to be stitched down the center anyway. Just to make sure that's flat. And now if you want to, you can add a little quarter of an inch spine here. So I've got the natural fold there and you can put another little fold um, around about a quarter of an inch up from that one if you want to. So the natural fold is just, is just out a little bit, you can see it's just out from the edge. So I'm going to put a second fold just sort of on the edge and it'll just create a really tiny, tiny um, lip there just to um, allow it to expand if you want it to. But I mean this is optional. So that one there and There. and then I've just got a tiny tiny little lip there you can hardly see it it's a lot smaller than the other one that I did and so now we have to get our pages ready and I've got four A4 pieces of these are tea dyed paper these were actually dyed with a, a herbal tea, which was a blackberry tea. And um, so it's come out this kind of a, a greyish colour, greyish purplish. So um, you'll find that if you fold your piece in half, And you fold it in half again. That is just the right size for our journal pages. So I'm just going to get them ready. I'm just 
just going to cut them all in half. Just with my scissors. did put a new free printable up on the Facebook group yesterday too in case you haven't seen it it's um, some Halloween tags um, if you haven't joined my Facebook group yet I'll link it below and um, I have some free printables on there I also have a Halloween printable kit coming very soon hopefully today and you can put as little or as few pages or as many pages as you like and of course you don't have to use the coffee or tea dyed paper Whatever paper you want to put in there. You can even put lined paper if you just want to make a little notebook for somebody. I just like the look of tea and coffee dyed paper and the sound of it because it's all sort of crunchy. I think we all like that paper sound. I'm just going to do the basics of this one today but I may in another video um, decorate it up a bit further so just put the all the papers inside one another as you do when you when you make your signature for the holes for this one. I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. And it's so small I don't really need to measure so I'm just making sure this is even on the top and bottom. And put my pages like that and I'm just going to hold them with a little bulldog clip here. Like that. And I'll get my little awl and first of all I'll go in the middle, making sure I'm in the spine. Actually that's a little bit crooked. Let's do that again. Oops. Do that again. do that and then put this on there we go now I'm going to get my little all and I'm going to find you know just eyeball what the center is which I think is about there and poke it all the way through now you'll need your holes to be reasonably big because we're sewing through with 
ribbon, not with um, thread. So one in the middle, and then I'll do one about an inch from that end and about an inch from that end. So we've got our three holes. Sorry about that, I just had someone at the door. So, um, oh, my light's gone off. Just a second. Um, light. Okay. So, we need our ribbon. And I'm getting about one, two, three. Normally for three whole pamphlet stitch, I'd do three heights of the book and that's usually enough but I'm going to do double that because I'm also using it to um, wrap around the book four five six lengths and I'm using this pretty pink ribbon that I used for um, the Parisian uh, Traveller's Notebook that I made so your needle um, where did I put mine? Here it is. You want to have a fairly big eye because you're threading it with ribbon, not thread. And I might just fold mine in half because it might make it a little bit easier to pull through the through the hole. So I'll just thread that. And so starting with the centre hole, we're starting on the outside because we want our ends to be on the outside. And it's usually a little bit hard to get it through at first. But if you just um, slowly keep pulling it, might need to even push it a little bit from the other side. I'll just put this on because I don't want to hurt my finger. There we go. Just pulling it through and leaving, leaving a bit of an end there. And then I'll go up through the top or down through the bottom. It doesn't matter which end. Right to the outside. And we want to come all the way up and back through. Pull that. There we go. And now is when I want to make sure I've got my ends sort of even-ish. So I need to pull this one through more. So I'll just pull some through from the bottom here. Pull it through here. And, and then I think they will be, that's probably a bit too much. So I'm just trying to get them roughly even, just so that I know it's going to um, tie. And then we just go back through to the outside, through the middle hole. nice little ribbon in the middle. I actually got this idea from G. Kerr 
Here's Happiness in Crafting. She's got some great ideas on her channel um, with doing it with the ribbon. And then so I'm just going to pull them tight. Here we go. And see how we've got them both on one side of the ribbon? You want to just put one under and put it on the other side. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot to hold that in place. Like that. And we can take our clip off now. And there we have our closure. Just wrap it around, one in the front, one around the back, and tie it. You can tie it on the side like this or in the center. Like this. And that's our cute little notebook envelope notebook journal and I have the other one that I made here have a little look through got your pocket here you can put a tag with a little um with a little pull thing at the top or you could put in some writing paper as I said you could add a belly band Let's see, I've got some leftover bits here, so I could add a little belly band down the centre. Um, I'd probably um, glue it onto some cardstock and then um, make the belly band. Um, you can use some of your other little bits to maybe make a pocket as well in the front. However you would like to do it. So... Really quick and easy little journal to make. Um, also be great if you do craft fairs. So you can make them up in no time at all. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. And I'll put the link to these papers below, the Blushing Rose papers. And thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.